Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, bringing you a brand new pack today. So today we are testing out Steam Engineering 2. So Steam Engineering 2 is a pack being developed by the Dark Preacher. Uh, and you know, it's ready for testing and he was kind enough to invite me to test this pack. And looking at it, you know, it's right up my alley. It's uh, It's got a bunch of fun mods in it. And so I think I'm going to do a series on this pack. And plus, I really like all of the uh, terrain gen. There's a new mod I'm not familiar in that's doing all this odd terrain gen, and it's so much fun. Now, you could uh, beta test this pack as well. Uh, the beta testing is open to all of his Patreons. And the links for all of the Dark Preacher stuff are down in the description. All right, so let's take a look at the pack and see what's in here. Uh, so let's run backwards through the menu. So we've got V's Craft, and I love V's Craft. That is like one of my favorite mods. Ridiculous airships, right? Uh, we've got Vanilla Food Pantry. Let's see, a couple of pages of that. There's the one probe. We've got Steam World. And now SteamWorld, I don't know anything about. We're going to have to learn. It looks like it's got a lot of fun blocks in it. Uh, Sonar Core, we've got Refined Relocation. We've got Malice's Doors. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, yeah, Magnetic Craft. I'm going to have to learn a lot about Magnetic Craft. That should be a ton of fun. Uh, iron Chess, Iron Backpacks. We've got a bunch of immersive stuff. Immersive Tech, Immersive, Immersive Petroleum. Uh, got a couple of pages of Immersive. Love that. We've got Flux Networks, uh, Factory Tech. Yeah, this is all Factory Tech. And again, this is another mod I don't know anything about and can't wait to learn. Uh, and then we've got a lot of decorative stuff. Block Craftery, Chisel and Bits, Chisel. Right, got all the pages of Chisel. And yeah, no, I think that's it. And then it's got all the uh, vanilla stuff. So should be a just a ton of fun to play. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, let's go ahead and get the episode one kind of stuff just rolling, right? Punch tree, get wood, right? Because what I want to do today is I, I just want to go through the basics here. Let's just get ourselves set up just a little bit, right? I'm going to need to go collect a ton of resources uh, between episodes and get myself kind of set up to go. I just need one more little blockitation of wood here. All right, so right there, let's get ourselves a little little axe right here. Get a little pickaxe. There we go. Nice. All right. And this has a tree chopper in it. So I should be able to do this. And there's the whole tree. I love that. All right. Let's get the things we need before we get murdered. All right, thing I need, number one. I need a few of these cows. They are delicious, right? So let's just, uh, yeah, let's just get this dude and that dude. If I could get, uh, I don't know, four or six pieces of leather, something like that. There's three, right? Get that guy. Uh, hello. Get you. Yeah, I got six. You know, they're right here. Let's just, uh, let's just murder a couple of them. Right? Make sure you have plenty of stuff. There we go. That dude. Oh, missed the jump. Come on, don't run away. It's just an axe in the face. Not a big deal. All right. There we go. Next order of business. We got to find some sheep and some cobblestone. So let's kind of run here a little bit. Boy, I like that island over there. I like that island a lot. Man, that would just be fun just to get set up on, right? All right, so there's three pieces of cobblestone. Let's go ahead and swap over. Not that, right here. Get some sticks and let's get up to the stone age for pickaxes. There we go. Ooh, I can hear a little zombie action underneath. All right, and let's grab some cobblestone while I'm right here. That way I can make a furnace and maybe a couple of other tools, right? All right, so that gets me like a dozen. Cool. All right, so let's see. Let's get a sword right away, just because I know I'm going to run out of time. Uh, and then two more things here. 
So I'll grab a shovel and you can go there. And let's see. Yeah, let's get a let's get a better hatchet. Right? Get rid of the wood tools as fast as possible. All right. Take this dude with us. Keep running. Oh, surface ores. Hello. I will take bauxite. So that's aluminum. Nothing wrong there. And I did see this copper right up here. And this is kind of what I want to do today. Let's figure out a way to process the ores a little better than just smelting them. Hello, surface coal. I'll take you. Because I'm going to have to, you know, go collect wood and all that kind of good stuff in between episodes. But I want to do better than just smelting it, right? Here we go. Right there. Hello, iron. Nice. Got iron right away. Very cool. All right. So let's grab all of this. Yeah, right there. Oh, even more. I'll take that, because I'm going to need a couple of pieces right away to start. And, you know, let's go for a little run here. That big old tree is just, like, calling to me. Come here, see what I'm about. And I'd like to find some sheep. I don't see any on the mini-map at the moment, and that's a little concerning. I would like their wool. I would like to get a bed. I mean, I'm going to hide and go mining anyways. Uh, let's see. Any sheeps over here? No, all the moomoos. Don't need any moomoos. And, yeah, you know, I saw this thing before. I want to stop and take a look at what this post is over here. Let's just take a peek. What are you? Uh, I think the sun's going down. Right? Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe not. You are an ancient crypt marker. So you mark an ancient crypt? Uh, I don't think I'm ready to go figure out what that is yet. But I'm going to guess that it's a thing. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's hop right up over this hill. And let's go see if we can find some of the sheepies. Right? Oh, I heard a spider. That's not sheep, but it is string. Uh, you know, I might go this way. Yeah, let's go this way, right? Nice flat ground. We'll kind of hop down the mountain here. I do like this kind of Mesa desert hybrid kind of thing. It is nice looking. All right, so let's go find some sheep. And then, uh, you know, we'll dig a hole and I'll go mining for a little bit. All right, my radar says they're right in front of me. Hello, friends. Hello. All right. So we need three for a bed, right? So no problem. Gotcha. All right, there's our bed. Hello. Uh, and then we could use a couple of more, right? Uh, brown, you'll do just fine. Thank you. Right? Is uh, I also am going to want a backpack. So that's another four for a backpack. And, you know, they're right here and they're tasty. So let's just eat them all. Right? Right there. All right. There we go. We're not going to have to uh, worry about food for a minute, right? Where did that last dude go? Where'd you go? You're not fast enough. Yeah. All right. And, oh, the sun's almost down. Okay, get this done fast. I did collect a little bit more wood on my way. So let's see. Right here, right there. There is a bed. Very cool. Got the bed down. And... Uh, let's see. I'm going to need more cobblestone to be able to make a furnace. Oh, I can't run. I'm already too hungry. Oh, man. All right. Let's just get just those two right there. And I'll make a furnace. We'll cook up some food. And then I think I'm going to go mining. Right? Is I want to be able to uh, get some ore and do a couple of things. All right. So let's put this dude down. Let's go ahead and turn these dudes into, yeah, those right there. And kind of order one here is let's get some food cooking and take a nap. All right, survive the night. Woohoo! Uh, so here's what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to kind of just burrow into the side of the hill. I don't know, maybe over there? We got to find a place to live. I guess it doesn't much matter as long as I know where my stuff is. So let's just call this home. I can live out, right? It doesn't matter. I kind of like being near the water. And I think I'm just going to start tunneling. Uh, so I'm going to make myself, yeah, I got a little bit of food. I'll go ahead and cook up a little bit of charcoal and make some torches. And then I think I'm just going to make a mine shaft down. 
and go get some basic resources, and then I'll come back to you. Back from my mining expedition, I went and got a little bit of ore, slept through the night, and, you know, I'm looking at what I've got, right? I mostly found iron, copper, and bauxite, and I also got this chalcopyrite ore. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but if I'm going to use this stuff, I want to see if I can use it efficiently. And so looking at my mod options here, uses on iron, uh, let's start in the back here. So there's an electric furnace from Factory Tech, and, you know, not bad. Nickel, I don't have any of that. I've got a drill grinder, uh, and that's from Factory Tech as well. And, uh, again, not bad, but it's still things like redstone don't have. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got. Steam World Grinder, and it looks like it comes in levels, and I need a steite ingot. A steite. I don't know how you say that. Uh, and, you know, I haven't even seen those. We've got the arc furnace and the crusher, probably a little ways off. The grinder from Magnetic Craft, which I'll have to look into, but I recognize this thing right here, the crushing table from Magnetic Craft. So I want to go after this thing. So I'm going to need a little bit of stone. So let's go ahead and smelt up a couple of pieces of stone. And you were just making charcoal. I am going to need a bucket, right? So let's go ahead and get a little bit of iron smelting up. And I guess I'll give you another piece of charcoal. And, you know, let's see if we can start making this thing here. So this was, what, a crushing table, right? So uh, what don't I have? Uh, it looks like all of it. Okay. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to need some of that. I've got sticks. Yeah, so it's just down to the stone right there. All right, so... Let's get these things. And, you know, you know, I got to dump off here. Hold on a second, right? I don't need you or you. Uh, you can go. That's not useful. All right, there we go. I just feel better if I have a little bit of room. There we go. All right, so crushing table, right? Right here, there's a crushing table. And, you know, uh, for right now, for right now, you can go right here. And I think I'm going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to dig myself a water supply, right? So let's grab a bucket. Uh, I'm going to need two. And there's, yeah, I mean, the ocean's right there, right? So let's just make two trips back and forth. Uh, it's a little further than I wanted. Whatever. All right. Got my second bucket of water. Here we go. Endless water supply. Thank you. And then I want to get a thing called a sluice, right? So let's take a look at this. A sluice needs sticks and slabs and planks and an iron mesh. And the iron mesh needs light iron plates, which means I've got to whack down five iron ingots. And that tells me that there has to be a hammer, right? So a stone hammer right there. Do I have, did I melt down? No. Let's see. So let's get one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's see, five right in there right? Just like this. Just try not to waste tons and tons of stuff, right? All right, so there's a little bit more stone. What else is the sluice going to take? So it was also string. No, right here, string. Uh, hello? There we go. So I can take wool and pound it down somehow using a cutter from Vanilla Food Pantry. All right, well, let's take a look at what a cutter is. So a cutter is just two pieces of flint. You know, I don't think I've run into any gravel. Yeah, right here. All right, let's just grab some gravel, and maybe we'll get lucky here. Come on, one of you guys, come on. Oh, should I just get my shovel out? Come on, somebody give me some flint. I wonder if I can make flint. Right, come on. Did I pick it up and didn't even see it? No. All of this and no... Oh, there's one. There's two. And I think they're different kinds. They didn't stack. Uh, what can I get rid of? Cobblestone. Right? Oh, I got two of those kind of flints, though. So that's good. All right. So let's go ahead and make this cutter thing. Right? So right here... I don't know if it was shaped. Uh, it was shaped. All right. So I have a cutter. And I'll put the cutter with brown wool. And I get four string. All right. Very cool. 
And then here's my five iron. Man, I'm already out of room. All right, hold on. We got to fix the room, right? Uh, let's just take, let's take some plankage right here and we'll make ourselves a couple of chests. Here we go. Throw all the things on the ground. Cool. Uh, that's not where I wanted you. I wanted you back here. Let's see. Let's just pick up this guy and move it because it's going to bother me. All right, there we go. Now I can get rid of some of this extra stuff. Right, right here, right there. I don't want to throw away a lot at the moment. Okay, pick up all that stuff. All right, so now I need... Yeah, I got the five iron. So I should be able to put you on the table and whack you with the hammer. Oh yeah, and if I hold right click, it'll just keep putting them on there. There we go. So that's five light iron plates. All right, let's go back to the sluice, right? So right here, uh, right there. So get this thing. Very cool. And what am I missing? Sticks. It's always sticks. All right, right there and right here. Cool. Got a sluice. Let's see. So sluice. Oh, no. Okay, so you set like I'm behind you. You're a pickaxe item. All right, so sluice, how about right like that? Very cool. And if I remember this right, uh, we should be able to take our iron ore, right? And I can just whack it. When you put the first block on the table, it like sets the type for the table, and it'll keep pulling that out of your inventory. And then all you got to do is just hold right click, and it's going to process all of them, right? So we've got, what, eight more to go? I mean, let's get all the iron. It'd be nice to, uh, we should get a backpack, and it'd be nice to get some iron tools, right? So let's see if we can get uh, all of the stuff. Oop! <laughs> okay, I almost made it. All right, well, let's get another hammer. I'm always going to need more hammers, right? Right there. Here we go. And, yeah, there we go. All right, so I think I take this right here, iron rocky chunks. And I throw them in this thing, and it looked like it took, I don't know, like 10? And then I give it a bucket of water, and down it goes. All right, and out comes a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so what do we get? We got 10 iron chunks, 2 aluminum, and 2 nickel. Okay, so I'm getting bonus. Yeah, it does 10. I'm getting bonus by doing this mechanic. All right, and then I can throw these iron rocky chunks in there. And do that. All right. And do I need anything else? Yeah, the pyrite. The pyrite, you just become sulfur. I, I really don't need you. I was curious about this chalico pyrite whatever, right? So let's hammer this stuff down. And we'll put you in here and we'll water you. And do I have anything else? Uh, copper. Yep. Got copper. Uh, so what I get there? Copper chunks. Oh, we ought to smelt. We ought to smelt. One, two, three, right? We ought to smelt that stuff, and I'll go ahead and just keep hammering this stuff away. All right, so I finished banging down all of our materials, and I ended up getting 21 copper. I've got four aluminum. There's a couple of other copper chunks already been processed, and then the extra stuff. So all I've got left to do is just process this copper, right? And let's go ahead and get that. Uh, let's see. So I'll do that one and this one. Okay. And in there. It seems like it's the same time no matter how many you put in there. But it looks visually different, right? So that one's pretty low. All right. And then it's just aluminum left. Very cool. And then we'll have, uh, then we'll have some basic resources. All right, so let's see what we ended up here after all said and done. All right, so I've got five gold, four nickel, three aluminum, three extra iron. Uh, can I stick that iron? No, I can't stick them together, but this is nice. We got 30 iron, 37, 40 iron already. Very cool. All right, so I think I'm going to grab the extra wool. Don't I have more wool? Didn't we murder like a whole ton of sheep? How do I not have enough wool, right? There's two. I must have accidentally dropped it. All right, uh, let's see. Sheep's on the radar. I don't see any because, you know, we murdered everybody. 
Let's see if we can go find some. Get ourselves uh, a backpack. Anybody down here? Any sheep? No, you're all cows. Ah, there they are. Whoa, that was lava I just walked over. Didn't even see it. All right, let's just uh, let's just borrow some sheep here. Right there. Thank you. Thank you. And you, sir. And you. Does that give me? That gives me three of each. Let's just grab another white one just to make sure. Oh, we'll get a white and a brown one. That way I've got a set of four in each color just in case something's funny about that. And then, yeah, don't fall in the lava. I don't think I need a bucket of lava for anything at the moment. Our base, yeah, our base, our camp is right around the corner right here. All right, so let's grab a backpack Right, so right up over here. All right, so let's go ahead and get a backpack. Right, backpack. So what am I going to need for this? I'm going to need a chest, which means I'll need a couple of pieces of wood. Right, right here. Let's go ahead and make a chest. Very cool. And there is a, oh, I got to grab the leather. There is a basic tier backpack. Very nice. All right. So from here, I think I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, keep mining. I'll get some basic resources and I'm going to look around a little bit because while this is nice, I don't want to live right here in the valley, right? I think that's kind of gross looking, but I think I'm going to call it here for today. This is just a intro to the pack, letting you know that a series is coming. I think it looks like it's going to be crazy kinds of fun. We're going to make such a multi-block factory. I'm uh, 47 Mark IV, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, hey, drop me a comment or a like. I always look forward to seeing those. And then I will see you in the next episode.